Before you even watch this vlog, you need to know that when you think it's finished, it's not. It's just not. So you need to watch this one right till the very end. Well, unless you get bored shitless and just turn it off, innit? Here we go, here's the vlog. Have a guess where I've been. You'll never guess. I've been to Leighton Buzzard and I've just got back. Well, I've been back a few minutes. I'll tell you all about it after the titles. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new vlog. Indeed, I've just got back from Leighton Buzzard. I've been to a place called Alan's Cycles to spend some inheritance money. I actually went down there. This is how we get everything, by the way. I, I know my mum won't mind me saying, but um, she has given us some of our um, inheritance. So that's helped pay for a lot of the things over, over the past few months. So thank God for that, eh? What a wonderful lady. So I'm really, really pleased with that. But um, yeah. I have been down to the cycle shop because it, all it is was sell um, electric bicycles and I want to have a look to see um, what the crack is really and have a go on one. So I did indeed have a go on one and they're amazing. So come and have a quick look at this. I'll show you what I've ended up with. Derek will laugh at this because he'll know. Derek will know. You ready? <laughs> so my rider one in bright orange. Just like DJ audits. <laughs> Very splendid. Anyway, I'm going to go out for a ride in it now. Bye. Right then, everybody. Here we are, out on the My Rider One. I um, have already done six miles on it. So I've been out and about on the towpath and just having a bit of a mess around. So we're going to go a bit further. So I went to Rotherstorp as well. So I'm going to take you into Rotherstorp and then around a big block so i think it's about five miles in total it's very pleasant i'm on power level three at the moment so i did drive it most of the time earlier oh yeah I did drive it most of the time earlier on power level one, which is the least, well, apart from not obviously. And it was all right. I'm doing 15 miles an hour at the moment. And one beautiful thing, about having this and one of the reasons I got it so I can show you some nicer places maybe go around the villages and stuff around here because it is really quite nice in Northamptonshire you know so I so say we're going to go through Rotherstorp I might go up to the church and let you have a look at that that's quite nice and, and then we'll um, I think we go down Banbury Lane back across the um, Grand Union Canal back towards Gaten. It's funny because now I've kind of got used to it, it doesn't feel that fast. It felt really fast to start off with and it's great because we've got a little throttle button that I can just press when we go up these hills and that puts me straight to level five so I can be really lazy. All right let's play some music shall we? Pedaling at the moment. Woohoo! We're doing 
doing 23 mile an hour. We won't bother going to the church, I'll show you that another day. Right then, this is Rotherstorp. It's quite a nice little village, it's the back end of the village. There's a lot more over to our left. And we're going to turn left when we get to the top here. I am actually doing some work now and pedalling properly. Need to try and get a little bit fitter, don't I? See, so yeah, my legs are aching a little bit now. But I'm not going to put any more boost on. Not yet. I'll wait till I get tired, tired. Bloody potholes. Northampton's terrible for him, let me tell you. I thought Luton was bad, but bloody hell, Northamptonshire is horrific. They should be ashamed of themselves, to be honest. Bloody uphill! And I am now going to turn left. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> it's lovely. Now we're off the main, well, sort of main country road, if you like. We're on a nice quiet road now. I will get some other mounts sorted out on this bike so you can see more. I just wanted to put the chest mount on today and just give you a taste. So we're just doing a nice leisurely 11 or 12 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour. I'll probably get some speed up now going down here without pedalling. I love it, I do. I tell you, this might be one of the best things I've bought for a long time. Thanks, Mum. Thanks for your inheritance money before you're dead. It's lovely, isn't it? My mum is awesome. A lot of what we do would um, we wouldn't be able to do if it weren't for my mum, to be honest. We wouldn't have had the boat. Simple as that. So yeah, I'm certainly highly doubtful that we'd have had a boat. So we have a lot to thank my mum for. And now we're going over the canal. Yeah, I'll carry on. So we should now be heading towards Gayton itself, the village. And I think we will come out opposite Gayton Church, if I remember correctly. I mean, I don't come this way on my car, obviously I might have been this way once or twice. Well, let's have a bit of power boost to get up this hill. That's better. I'll tell you what, I reckon once Lee has a go on this, she's going to want one. Blimey, this one's a bit steeper. Don't know whether you can see them kites, the birdies. Beautiful. On our way back to the marina now. A lot of this is downhill. So I'm going to bring the bike back down to power number one. The only thing I would say about this bike um, is it's a bit skittish because it's like small wheels and because the rake is so upright on the handlebars. 
you know what rake is. Um, it does make it a bit, a bit touchy because I've ridden dirt bikes and stuff, it don't bother me. But I know a few people who have ridden these to start off with have said they uh, didn't feel very comfortable because they wiggle about a bit. <laughs> but you soon get used to that. So I'm not even pedaling now and doing 16 mile an hour. And again, not sure whether you can see that right in the background in front. That is all the terminal shit that's going on. That's blighting our, um, what do you call it? View, or our beautiful countryside. And they're still on about putting a bloody solar farm right near the marina as well. Where they can F right off, I'll tell ya. We're now doing 23 mile an hour, 25, 30, fucking hell. Yeah, that's too fast. <laughs> that's wicked, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Holy moly. Wow. That was quite exhilarating. Now that is a bit scary on a, on a bike like this. <laughs> Back to a more sedate 15 miles an hour. Well, I don't think I deserve a beer when I get back, don't you? Definitely smell cannabis here. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheating, I'm on number five. <laughs> There we are. There we are back at the marina. It's good job I brought my keys. That's Andy. I've done 10.7 miles, so that was 4.7 miles that little trip. And I think if we press the modes, average speed 11.6, highest speed 30.8. Yeah, wicked. Right then, let's give you a little closer look around. So first of all, we have our little computer thing here. You turn it on by holding it down. Then that's your assistance level, which says two at the moment. You just go up and down how much you want and it goes all the way up to five mileage and all that sort of stuff so just your normal stuff a bell that doesn't really work they never work them bloody things and it all folds up nice got lovely so i mean it's really well engineered I mean, it really is it's really quite a nice thing obviously looting town colors got foldingable pedals so everything just folds i'll show you that later at some point but yeah all disc brakes a 250 watt motor in there battery goes in here actually once you undo it it comes apart the batteries in there that just charges on a standard um just on a 12 volt or a well i've, I've got the um what do you mean the, the normal 240 volt normal pluggy one but you can get a 12 volt one for it don't need that and that's it really I've got a little headlight on it isn't it? it's quite cool yeah i'm really pleased with it to be fair so that is it the little my rider one well of course now i've got the bike i'm gonna need some accessories aren't i i did um buy the carry bag for it i just thought it, it needs that to keep it protected and dust free and all that sort of stuff um so yeah but i'm gonna want a camera mount for the front that can do 360 so you can turn it all the way around so i only have to have one camera on the bike and i can move that about which is quite a good idea um i need an iphone mount for the handlebars so I can have my phone on there so I can obviously see where I'm going and there's lots of apps you can use on that so I'll probably use one of those um, I did nearly buy what they call it a smart crash helmet my god but it was 170 quid but let me tell you it had a 1080 camera on in in the top there it had um, speakers inside so you can listen to music and stuff it had some sort of way it could detect when you're braking and the brake light will go off on the back 
But bloody hell, yeah, I suppose I should really get myself a crash helmet, but I really don't like them, to be honest. I really don't. I like the freedom. But if I did, well, I will, I, I'm sure I will buy one, but what I'll probably buy is more of the skater-type open face things, rather than silly blimmy things people put on their heads. So, we'll see about that one. So, yeah, so I think that's about it. <laughs> it's all too much, let me tell you, bye. <laughs> Look at him, getting ready to pounce. You silly hound. <laughs> Lee's having a go on the My Rider. It's not even pedalling now, look. I know, it's excellent. Right then, let's see if we remember how to fold it. That's it guys, look. Simple as that. It's good isn't it? Bye. There we go, all folded up in a bag. How cool is that? We're having some more alfresco dining. We've got these, I don't know, burgers with tandoori bullets if I could have on there. We've got a tribute, but that's not for dinner. We've got some onion, some melty cheesy things. And we're going to have salad with it, aren't we? Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to put the onions in first and just bung everything and see what happens. Bye. I think the only thing with this extra, extra, extra large fridge monkey thingy doodah, it is a little bit big for these stoves, these camping stoves. It'll be fine on the um, proper camping bistro thing, which is just like our hob in the boat, really. But this is just a little bit unstable, to be honest with you. So you have to be a bit careful. Oh, basically cooking all right. Your mushrooms. Let's see a little look how we're doing, shall we? Oh, say. Came up to see that. That looks good, doesn't it? So these are like lamb burger things with a tandoori thing, I think. It smells good. Another five, ten minutes, it'll be done. Bye. Look at that. That is looking rather splendid. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Lovely. Well, that doesn't look bad, does it? I tell you, that's a hell of a burger. It is. Looks delicious. Here you are then. Right. Mm. So Lee's having the go. Well, she's having a mushroom, not a bit of burger. Mm. Go on and get that get that burger in your mouth. Jesus, I couldn't get my dainty mouth around that. Rubbish. You seem to have far more onions than me. Oh. <laughs> you have far more other nonsense than me that I don't like. Nonsense. They're getting bored now waiting. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Good. Different. Nice. Got a bit of a tang. <laughs> I'm top cooked by. Well, it's getting dark out here now. Pretty much at the end of the day. I have to say, that dinner was really, really nice. Honestly, that was really nice. I enjoyed that. Nice change. Sometimes it's nice to try something a bit different, isn't it? Because I saw them in the old special oil, or not special needs oil. And um, I thought, ah, oh, come on then. It's four quid they were, so it's two quid a burger. Not so bad, is it? Anyway, I think it's nighty night for now. See you tomorrow. Bye. As you can see, everybody, I'm back on the bike. It's 
So I thought I'd go out for another little wander. I'm not going to do a full thing like I did yesterday because that's just a bit boring for you lot. But I am going to go a little bit further today. I might take us up to the church, have a little look there, as I said I was going to do yesterday. And maybe we'll have a little chat along the way. So I've got my um, handlebar mounted camera on now and I can turn it forwards and backwards. Woohoo! So that's quite good. Right, we're coming into Wilder Stalk at the other end today. So rather than just go through the middle as if we go into Sainsbury's and all that sort of stuff, we can actually go through the little village. I've not actually been further than the church, but I do believe this brings us back out in Banbury Lane, so I'll know where I am then. Isn't it lovely? Just in front, you should be able to see the church. Not sure what church it is. We'll have a proper look one day, we'll have a wander around, maybe get the drone out here. It's funny the looks you get when they because people think you're talking to yourself. <laughs> I suppose I am really. I thought I'd just show you the Rodders Thorpe sign. I'm not sure how much of that you can see. The sun's kind of straight at me. Maybe I'll do it from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other side's not going to work, is it? Because uh, the sign's not there. But anyway, this is the centre of Rothel's Right then, let's carry on, shall we? Ooh, back to the bumpy roads. Certainly the smell of hay fever. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right, let's hope I'm not going too far out of my way. Might run out of batteries and I'll have to pedal full proper all the time. Mind you, it's not that difficult to be fair. I am pedalling, of course. I'm just getting a bit of assistance at the moment. I'm on power level three, just for people who are wondered. Just because I'm going on a fairly long ride. Once we get up towards gate and I should bang her back onto number one. We get a bit more exercise for the last one. I mean, this is obviously giving me exercise now, going up this hill. And I haven't pressed the boost button. Right, I think this turning is us. Oh, there goes my camera. So that wasn't tightened up enough. So we'll stop and try and sort that. Well, oh, that's not a great design if it's going to fall off like that. Now, luckily enough, I had actually brought the Allen key out with me just for this occasion. Hey, that's a good bit of forethought, isn't it? Actually, I lied because it was one of them wiggly ones, you know, the normal ones, and I'd put that in my pocket while I'd done it with a screwdriver one. <laughs> there you go. Luck, hey, bye. Right, let's set off again then, shall we? Oh, I might get a bit wobbly wibbly here. Dodgy old Northamptonshire roads. There we are then. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So glad I got a bike. Honestly. This bit of road should be smoother now. There we go. I don't know how the um, camera stabilisation handles that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Fabulous day. Now, somewhere along here, I believe, there's a solar farm. The first part of what's they've been talking about creeping all the way over to next to our marina. So we'll see if I can spot that. I mean, obviously you can't see because it's beyond the hedgerow. I can't see anything yet, so it might be a little bit further. But if I find it and can see it, I shall film it. Right then, there it is back end of it, we can't see the front end of it, but we might see the front end of it from another angle, I'll see where we get to. Well, I'm not sure how much you can see because I've got the camera full stretch on my hand. Let's see if you can see over the head, so I can only just see the tops of them. Well, of course I've got nothing against solar at all, really, per se. I just think it's ridiculous that 
people think that's going to give us enough power to power the nation. And when it's not sunny, of course, you get naff all here. And we all know that. And why we're paying stupid amounts of taxes, green taxes on our fuel bills. Because that's what it is all about, isn't it? It's all about taxing and raping us of our money. So that's, you know, they are using climate change in that way. And they're going on about this 1.5 degrees C at the moment, aren't they? Bugger off, don't be so ridiculous. David Bellamy always said, didn't he? Climate will always change no matter what humans do, which is quite correct. And it's 100% true. So um, all this scaremongering just pisses me off. And there's gullible people that go along with it. I know there's be some of you that think, oh, there is climate change. We're all gonna die. It's just a tax. We're not all gonna die. We've had this threat for year, every, well, every blooming, every decade that I can remember. Supposed to have been dead, I think it was 2000. We should have all been dead by then. Then Greta said we only had a couple of years to live, didn't she? And that, that went past. So it's just a joke. I, I do question the, um, the intelligence of people these days that are just so gullible. It's just, just ridiculous. There we are then. Bit of a dodgy old road to get across, but we did it. Yeah, there's something else I heard today as well on the old YouTube of thingies. Um, actually, was it on YouTube? Yeah, it was on YouTube and on one of the news sources, I can't remember what channel. But it seems there are about 11 million people in the UK that are now struggling. They're spending more than they're um, earning. Hello, furlough, hello, furlough, hello. Ukraine my ass. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Having rants on the My Rider. My Rider rants, I say. What do you think of that? Yes, yeah, so all that, and I mean that's quite bad because people have been living off their credit cards, haven't they? Let's be honest. Let's put the sunglasses back on. More for the flies and stuff, really, to be honest with you. And I can just feel the hay fever going into my eyes now. I suffer a little bit with conjunctivitis, um, sometimes worse than others, but it hasn't been bad for a while. But I think this year's a bit worse. So, but there you go. not be a shock horror <laughs> little lambs that hill was hard let me tell you it's starting to run out of power so I had to knock it down to the one so at least we're at the top of the hill now and it's coasting all, almost all the way down now back into the marina I think next time, oh dear, I've got a fly in my throat. I'm not joking. I think next time we come out on the bike, I might bring the zoom cam and I might bring the drone. We'll find somewhere nice to go and play. That's what I think we'll do. See if we can smell cannabis as we go past here again. No, I don't think so. Wow, <laughs> that makes a change. Yeah, we had enough juice to get home, everybody. See, because we did all the uphill towards Gaten, but over a longer length, if you know what I mean, or a longer distance, rather. So then that burst home is all downhill, pretty much. One little hill that we just went up, and we're back we still got one bar. So that's not bad, two days of quite long riding. Yeah. And remember, I'm a fat bastard. So pulling this weight takes a bit more. <laughs> and look, there's Hector waiting for me, bless him. <laughs> I hope he's watching him, this silly stuff jumping at the water. That was a round trip of about seven miles, just over, 7.1 miles thereabouts. So yeah, good fun, eh?
Soon be beer o'clock. <laughs> and look at this. We've got it all charging from the solar through the jackery and into the bike. That's very clever, isn't it? It's a bit cloudy here at the moment, so it won't hold it hold its own at the moment. Let's have a look at what we got. Out of the way, Hector. So we're pulling 56, 7, 60 odd, fluctuating, and it's taking between 80 and 90. So as soon as the sun comes out, that'll easily blast it. That's something I've never actually seen before. See the swan with all its babbies on its back. So about the wheel on the older zoomy camera doodle. Right then, have a guess what in other news. Have a guess what in other news. Yeah, but have a guess what in other news. <laughs> we now have a safety certificate. So uh, we sent pictures of the fuses and the cooker chain thing and all that nonsense. And uh, we've now got the this, this certificate was, um, we received it this morning after we went, to, well, this afternoon when I went to the manor. So that's, um, that's good, that's a relief. And that means we've got another four years of safety. <laughs> I'll tell you. So anyway, that must be worth a beer o'clock in it. I'll tell you. And after all me pedalling again today, Jeannie McNamara, I've done 19 odd miles already. So, dilly dilly. It's all good. Bye. Right then. Let's talk about the bullshit of solar farms, as you saw earlier. I went past a solar farm. I hope um, you could kind of see what that was. But also, you've also seen me recharging the electric bike through two panels, the Jackery and the Jackery. And that is working. We're probably at a 20% deficit. So what I mean is if, let's make it easy. If the power supply is pulling 100 watts and the solar is only pulling in 80 watts, then obviously there's your 20% deficit. Now, of course, it's only hazy sunshine today. And it, it, when the sun's coming in and out, it will equalize itself. So, um, but anyway, what we're basically saying is it's taking 200 watts um, of worth of solar panel, okay, to charge that and it will take anywhere between three and five hours on a day. Well, it doesn't matter what the day is because the Jackery has a kilowatt in it already. Um, so just think about that for a minute. Right, now let's talk about a car. It's got a hell of a lot bigger battery than that little My Rider. How many panels do you think it's going to take to charge the car. It ain't gonna be 200 watt panels, is it? It's, yeah. <laughs> and there's a kind of ridiculousness about it, isn't it? If we were here trying to charge an electric car, this whole area here would be covered in solar panels. Now imagine if we wanted to do a full house. Well, you've seen the solar energy on top of a house, okay? So you've seen houses have, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 panels, depending on what kind of system they've got, but definitely 20 plus. <laughs> so now you see a solar farm in one field, right, well, let's say, I don't know, 2,000 panels. How much is that really pulling in? Eh? I'll tell you what it's pulling in. Fuck all. Fuck all. It's worth nothing. Honestly, it's, I love solar here. For, for the individual who's got a bit of space like us, it's okay. Obviously, we've got them on top of our boat, and uh, we've got a three for the jackery stuff. That's all good, but it costs money. It costs, and it ain't cheap. Let me tell you, each panel is 300 quid for these little jackery things, so that's 900 quid worth of panels we've got. And how much, you know, it's going to take a lot of charging that bloody bike to make that back, isn't it? <laughs> I just don't understand how people can't see this. Honest to God, I don't understand. It's nonsense. What happens when the sun don't shine? And then as, don't even get me started on those monstrosities of wind farms. They are, to me, they're disgusting. And I'm telling you, they're an ecological nightmare. Believe me, you need to look into that. If you think that wind turbines are in any shape or form, any sort of solution to this, especially even offshore wind, you go and have a little investigate of it. And it won't take you long to come to the same conclusion as me, that is bollocks. And all this is about is virtue signaling and charging us more. It's all about tax. As I said when I was on my bike, 
So there you go. And this vlog <laughs> with a bit of a run, because I'm sure we must be over 30 minutes again. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, it's all too much. I don't know how we're chucking all these vlogs out. It's because I'm moaning a lot, isn't it? Um, sorry about the, the, obviously there's a long bit with the bicycle today, or yesterday's bit of vlogging. But obviously just wanted to test it. Today was obviously a little bit shorter, but the intention for that, in honesty, is I do want to go through some of the villages and give you a little bit of history on them. I don't know whether it'll be on this channel, and I'll be taking the drone up and all that sort of stuff. Um, and basically just having a little story, so that's one thing. And then the other thing was I was thinking of doing... I still love my photography, you see, and I, I'm, I haven't taken my camera out enough. My, my stills camera, so I want to do that on the bike. Uh, maybe we have some sort of photo challenges on that, but I'll, I'll um, talk about that more in another vlog. Anyway, we are at the end of the vlog, so you know what comes next. <laughs> we love you. We love you participating. We love it. everyone who supports us on Buy Me A Coffee. We love everyone who's on MeWe. We love everyone who's on our Twitter and anyone who just makes some conversation with us. That's all good. Have a brilliant weekday, whatever. And uh, don't let the buggers get you down. See you in the next one. Bye. Stop, stop, stop. We just have a, another little update before we actually really go. And I'm not sure whether this is um, voodoo or something. But the jackery today, okay? You've seen that we were charging the My Rider. The jackery at the moment is at 93%, okay? And we've had a deficit, like I said, of 20%. I'm gonna turn this around and show you. Some of you will find this boring, but some of you will find this interesting because you wanna know. You wanna know? Okay, so let's look back at the jackery. So you can see what the readings off there are. It's 93%. And it's saying 11 watts, 17 watts. It's, there, it's all fluctuating now. This is called floating, I think. But when we know this is charged, the My Rider, the charger goes green. So I can't believe that the Jackery has charged that up in what? I think it's half four, so it's half five, half six. So it's two and a quarter hours, and it's just used 7% of its kilowatt. Okay, on a cloudy day with a couple of panels on. That's pretty bloody good, let me tell you. Anyway, bye. Go away now, I've had enough. Yeah, see you later. Bye. <laughs> ah. No, seriously, something don't seem right, so I need to check this. Okay, so you just saw we're all fully charged. So I'm going to pull the plug on, the, on uh, the charging for the My Rider. So we, now there's nothing going into the My Rider. Now what we're going to look for in here is, has it got full bars? Then we'll know if it's truly fully charged. Yeah, look. That is fully charged. That's unbelievable. Honestly, I'm really impressed. Holy moly macaroni chicken cheese and things by.